So back with you. Oh, great. Uh, basically, I was just figuring out what's going on with him uh, in terms of the searching party for their for the mystery girl who you're also looking for. Everybody's looking for this lady. Uh, and only one of you knows the name, and it's Tenob. Tenob is the only one who knows her actual name. Everybody else is just like, we don't know. You don't even know what she looks like. They at least know what she looks like. <laughs> Tenob knows. I'm looking in a... For something in a glass box that has no air in it. So, those of you who went with Maggot, you find yourself in a cantina with people of different alien races playing Sabacc. Hard game, isn't it? Okay. Yep. Uh, it's the... It's the... You didn't see Solo, did you? No. Um, best way... Have you ever read any of the books? No. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good way to explain Sabacc. Is it like a mix of it's kind of a mix of that, but it also has like a a very high um, luck factor in that one of the things you can do in the game is that one of the things that happens in the game is that your cards actually change what they are mm. potentially, and it's like a fifty fifty chance that that will happen. But you can lock in cards so they don't change. But that's also like you don't know Phil if, if that's for better or worse that you did that. Okay. Sometimes it turns out for the better, though, because there's actually, like, a full... There's basically, like, a complete... Uh, I forget the term for it, but it's basically, like, a completely horrible deck if you don't have the complete set. But it's also, like, if you get both cards, you're like, oh, I win automatically. Mm. Uh, Maggot walks up to them and says, My friends, I have an appetite and many credits. Welcome me to your table. And a toilet girl at the table says, What is he doing here? Adora says, Look, the Sith slave comes to play. Did you see him fetching his master's lightsaber? He carries it in his teeth. The toilet girl replies, Maybe that's why he only speaks basic. His jaw is sore. Maggot replies in a sort of angry, but not quite, you know, trying to hold back tone. He says, my master is not here. Um, perception? Okay. Perception's, uh, cunning. I don't have any ranks in it. Okay, what's your cunning? Four. Okay, so four green. Uh, what is your cool? My cool? Green. No, it is. Okay, so add two purple. Cool is... Because you're in the cantina already. A career thing... Because you're not really hiding, I'm assuming. You're kind of just there. Nope. Oh, it's... it's okay. to notice him. All right, so... So go ahead and make the roll. Whatever. Do I need... How many of these? It was just two. Two? two? Okay. Four green, two purple. Yeah, All right. So, uh, two... Triangle. Okay, that's the failures. All right, four advantages and one success, and one which success. means you failed. Uh, you do kind of feel like somebody you know is here, but you can't see them. Mm. Able. Yeah, you're kind of like scanning the room, and you you don't you feel like somebody you know is here, but you just can't recognize any of the faces at the moment. Do you want to also scan the room? I'm looking at a ficus, but I can't tell you <laughs> why it's familiar to me. <laughs> <laughs> Where have I seen this before? And actually, uh, let's see. Those of you uh, with Hulus's Apprentice, you actually hear this conversation going down, and Hulus's Apprentice sneaks around a corner calmly before pulling out a hollow communicator, which shows Master Hulus, so he kind of quickly scurries behind a corner. And he says, I have a lead on that second Sith, the one asking about the woman. He's real. Uh, Hulus replies, can we follow him? Locate her that way? Only if you want the Empire to find their traitor before we do. Hmm. I'll keep on her trail. Padawan, you watch our competition. Half the Republic fleet is relying on that woman's information. We need to know what she's tangled up in. And... Uh, Merrick, make, make sure my Padawan stays out of trouble. Hi. Yes, Master. Alright, and he hangs up. Uh, so you're watching as Maggot, and, 
uh, as the Duros and the Twi'lek girl continue to insult Maggot, and he starts to get enraged by them. Eventually, he slams the Duros' face into the Sabak table. So you suddenly hear the Duros from earlier howl in pain as a, as the thud. So you suddenly hear the Duros from earlier howl in pain as a loud thud occurs. And I'm guessing you turn around to kind of see the face of the Duros hitting the table. And Maggot says, No, we will play cards, yes? <laughs> uh, that seemed highly unnecessary. Are you saying this out loud to where he can hear? Yep. Kind of notes. I take my deepest vape in and, and billow smoke, uh, the, uh, the vapors all around the room. The entire time, Pantalema is eating his bitter whatever the hell this the thing is. Well, why don't you join us for this game, then, and we see how things turn out. And at this point, you're kind of recognizing this guy, because there's not a lot of tree people in the galaxy. Hmm. Not a lot, no. Yeah. Um, Are you going to accept Maggot's offer to join the, the game? I'm not 100% sure how to play it. Maybe I can watch a couple of hands before I start getting into it. All right. And Got a so, name, strange <laughs> So Maggot places his calm on the table as he starts to pick up cards and kind of takes a seat next to the Doros whose head he slammed. Might as well join, even though I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Alright, now I gotta get the rules for Sabak. <laughs> on second thought... No, 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 it, it, it's actually... There's an actual system in the game. One of the trees. No, it's in one of the ones I have. What is your name? Oh yeah, he's asking your name. Oh, my name is Marak. Yours? Oh, I always pronounced it Merak. <laughs> is that wrong? Slight. You may address me by any of the following. Until I am on Isocrate. Pants. Silent Death. Nice to meet you. Pants is pretty <laughs> easy to say. I love that there's no reaction to the Silent Death <laughs> as a name. Well... We never. I would just assume that he farts and it smells god awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's what most people think. All the time. That's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, the like. Shit, I forgot how many grenades do I have? Four. Plus, I'm not the most cunning individual, so I wouldn't be able Four. to between those sort of lines. Yeah, yeah. Four frags, a knife, <laughs> two guns on <laughs> Would you like to be a friend? I eye you up and down and look at everything <laughs> What sort of friend are we looking at here? A friend. Oh, I found the rules. As of current, the company I keep is all higher-ups and... People who respond irrationally on occasion. Your problem with that for now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, losing money. All right. So, what what do you want to wager? So, I guess I will re the re 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 wager. <gasps> Wait. Can I wager the subscription <laughs> and lose on purpose? Well, you have to wager money. Shit. Alright. You can't wager a debt. <laughs> yeah. Don't think that's how the galaxy works. No. I don't even think that's how the real world works. You know, I wish it was. <laughs> Cause... How much do you have? How much do I have? I have 500 credits, so I guess I'll wager... What's a decent starting amount? 50? Yeah, I guess 50 will do. That will at least get... Okay, and since there are four players, including Maggot, that's uh, 200 credits in the pot. All right. Uh, all right. So everybody agrees on this as the amount in the pot. Uh, let me make a note of that. It's 200. All right. Uh, what's your cool? My cool is uh, related to my presence. So it's a career skill, and I have one rank in it. And my presence is three. So, it's a yellow and two green. Okay. And then, hold on, let me get all the... And it's what again that it runs off of? 
Uh, it run cool runs off of presence. Okay. So. Uh, that's there. What? Oh, uh, hold on. And you're gonna have uh, this one. Let me see if I can find one. Just. I'm just gonna. Uh, go ahead. And, it's gonna be a. Uh... All right. What do I need? To... Uh, yeah, I'm figuring out the opponents. That's where things are gonna go from bad to worse. Seven purple. I mean, <laughs> oh god, you're not off. If I can, oh, here we go. A gambler card. That works. That makes things slightly easier. Uh, it's gonna be six purple, actually. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I'm using this the same stat for everybody, which is actually not bad. It's two presents for each per. Oh, sorry. What is it? Oh, no, no, this is fine. Six works. I was about to run their cool as well, but then it would have been so much harder. It would have added some red. Oh, great. Alright, so go ahead and make that roll again. Do we even have that many? Oh, we do have that many purples. Wait. The, that's, that's yours? One. Yeah. Uh, you missed a purple. You rolled five. Oh boy. Okay, so don't worry though. Because uh, now you get to roll. Let's see. Now you leave the dice on the table and then you roll a single force die to illustrate the shifting nature of the card signs. Alright. For each dark side symbol, one success and one advantage are co converted into a failure and threat, respectively. Conversely, each light side symbol changes one failure and one threat into a success and an advantage so things can oh okay so remember how i said like the card shift that's what this was representing right. so this is basically the starting hand uh, unfortunately yeah uh this is now well this is probably the best one to use so now you have an extra threat and failure okay you can actually cheat if you want. Oh, I don't know if that would be a good idea. But really, like, we can wait to do it. Yeah, I think I'll wait cheat, to cheat. You're a cheaty ass off. <laughs> Let's see. I'm the rogue. I'm also a Twi'lek, so I have to be careful. <laughs> Trying to see how many rounds it kind of... So to cheat, a character instead uses his deception, skullduggery, or computer skill pool for the test. Upgrade the difficulty of the skill check once. On despair symbol... The PC is caught cheating and gambling. Immediately stops to resolve the discovery. On a success, the PC wins back his wagers. For each additional success, he wins another. So, okay. So now we got to do the math, I guess. Okay. Unfortunately, no successes. None. Uh um, huh. That one advantage got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure. The universe said no. Okay. So how many failures are left? Two, four, six, seven. Uh, six disadvantages. Oh, uh, six threats, yeah. Well, either way works, but yeah. Uh, so, you can keep in the game for a bit. You'll just have to throw more money into the pot mm -hmm. to keep playing. What would that be? Right now, you're just completely out of the 50. Uh, um, but, unfortunately, you will lose the your ability to concentrate on the game and upgrading the difficulty of your next roll once. So the next roll will be harder if you keep playing because of your disadvantages. Mm. Uh, uh, mug. I think I'm. You're gonna call it. I think I'm. Okay, I'm gonna roll for Maggot to see if he does. I called him Mug. God damn it! You did what? I accidentally called him Mug. His name's Maggot. To Maggot? Or yeah. Him, to his face? Yeah, I kind of fucked up. I can't remember. Oh, he he actually. All right. I actually need to roll for his actual roll. Oh. Uh, keep most of that except for the uh, remove whatever. Obviously, okay. So this one. Take two away. And then uh, re roll the purples for me. Okay. There should be just four now, right? And then. So, I'm trying to remember, cool is presents, right? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four dis uh, threats. 
Okay, so this is his starting hand. Damn, he doesn't have any better luck. Well, I rolled a light earlier. Do we want to count that? Uh, for the sake of Maggot. That way he can win your credits back. Yeah, we'll count that. Oh. <laughs> he only gets that converted, though, unfortunately. Because there were no... There were no failures to convert. <laughs> uh, he would have just uh, tied it out if I had gone the dark route. So, um, This cancels out. This one cancels out one of them. So he actually wins. He has two hits, two successes, and then a... Uh, the, the threat. Alright. So for the one threat, he suffers a strain as one of the cards in his hand unexpectedly flips, forcing him to change strategy. But... Uh, he actually gets a hundred, he got a hundred credits <laughs> out of the pot. So that means he actually won your money back as well as yeah. his. So he basically broke even if he was going to give your money back. So you see this and you see how the game comes. Uh, so uh, as you guys are kind of playing the game and as you kind of decide to be done with it yeah. for now, you can vaguely hear like the sound of like somebody's calm going like the voice on somebody's calm but you don't know whose calm it's coming from uh, uh yeah uh and uh as as the, as the talking continues maggot says cards are frozen show the hand Bach player says uh your calm leak is speaking so now you know whose calm it is it's Mag uh oh wait show the hand and, uh, I'll answer it. Uh, as you're about to answer it, suddenly there is a large rumble. The ceiling to the establishment crumbles slightly. Patrons begin to panic, including those that Maggot were play was playing cards against. Uh, the first player is like, Someone's attacking! And another one's like, What's the hut done? A klaxon begins to go off throughout the entire station, and a robotic voice can also be heard giving warnings. Warnings! Verbo brain clusters offline. Unlinking subsystem helix and assessing damage. Orbital stabilizers at 64%. Power core at 49%. Doesn't sound good. Warnings. Multiple ruptures in docking pylon 4. Containment field at 40%. Containment field at 27%. So, uh, I'm guessing you're going to start heading back towards the ship at this point. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Maggot does the same and actually takes all the money that's on the pot <laughs> while nobody's looking. I'm guessing you see that happen. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to interfere with him taking the money? No money. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't steal from me, why should I care? <laughs> okay, and the Padawan is with you kind of watching as well, keeping an eye on <laughs> Maggot specifically because he, he knows that Maggot will lead you guys back to Tenob. Uh... So, uh, eventually, you finally make it to your docking pylon to see the ship floating away in space among the wreckage of the station. Warning. Containment field at 11%. Tenob exits the safety of the field, making his way towards the ship. Silently, he floats through the wreckage until he finally reaches the ship's air. Maggot goes, Master! Uh, Tenob finally returns with the ship and says, The Emperor's Apprentice. And she laughed. Tenet barely manages to get that out as he's catching his breath. The Emperor? But you survived? You survived where no one else even found her. Locate shelter. Master, the colony. You see Linico Colony Blue burn as it strikes the atmosphere. You're kind of like all getting on the ship at this point. You're getting onto your ships as well, like with the Apprentice. Uh, not Hulis is like on a separate ship at this point. So you know he's safe. Um, go ahead and make a perception. Yeah. Uh, you can if you want, but it's really more for what's going on with the Sith side of things. Perception, that's cunning, is a career skill but no rank, so four green? Yeah. Not four green. Yeah. Oh wait, no it is. Yeah. Because, because you're, uh, yeah. As long as you're, because that one's a cunning. Yeah. So if your cunning is four, then that's four green. And then add a... Okay. How hard it would be to notice this. You. Uh, okay. 
will notice it. Okay, so I have... Oh, do you have the, the app, or like the actual app, or that website that I've been... Yeah, because there is a legitimate app. I think you have there's, to pay for it, but... two. One's free. One, 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 both uh, the D20 stuff and... Stuff uh, I was saying there's like a legitimate one that Fantasy Flight, like, published. Uh -huh. So, I have four advantages. Okay. Uh, triangles are failures, right? Yep. And I have... One triangle and one success. Okay, so it canceled out. So you don't really notice much. You see, however, that the uh, the colony is crashing to the planets in the north. Uh, I mean, it's a burning. All you see is a burning. You can't really tell where it's going. <laughs> Everything's on fire. Like the the yeah the space station. You can just the colony. You're just like oh, it's falling somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Who you, cares? It, you will have an easier time tracking where it is later if you have to. So that that's what we'll use your advantages okay. for. Because you said you had some advantages, right? Yeah. So we'll use that for... Four. To, yeah, so we'll use that for later if you have to track it. You'll know. You'll have like an, a, a boost die on it. Uh, so you managed to make your way towards the planet's surface. Uh, the docking entrance has been opened and Tenem makes his way towards the exit. I'm leaving two Nutra-paste rations. You'll starve slower than I will. Master, this is unwise. You like the jerked bantha? It leaked onto the coolant tank. You said pieces of the colony uh, had crashed, uh, and actually, if had crashed around here somewhere. I can salvage what we need for repairs. Your wounds will reopen and you will die. That is, I fear you will. And you can see that he is wounded from his fight that he mentioned with the apprentice. Because he had mentioned the apprentice. <laughs> yeah, you can see like he's kind of got some wounds already. I am, I am Sith. If I can't survive, I deserve my doom. Fix what you can, Maggot. You're good with machines. If any of you wish to join me other than besides Maggot, you may. Sure, why not? I ain't got much. All right, and, uh, <laughs> and, you, and actually even JP is kind of damaged from the fight too. Because JP was with... Uh, Tenob. Y'all got fucked. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Jake, uh, Chikara is actually going to remain with Maggot so she can heal up. Recover. Yeah. All right. And I guess we'll call that a night. Ooh. All right. Yay! 20 XP. Yay! Woo! Hey, everyone. Thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoyed what you just saw, be sure to give us a like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't want to miss any of our content, be sure to hit the bell icon where you will be notified anytime we upload a video. Also, if you wish to watch RPG Workshop live, you can follow Studio Bastion on Twitch. There, you can also enjoy his gameplay live streams and other podcasts that are in production. Also, if you like what we're doing here at Escape Reality Films, be sure to check out our Patreon and support us, and get some cool rewards in return.